Justice emanates from the people and shall be administered in the name of the Republic by the judiciary, which shall be independent and subject only to the Constitution. Ladies and gentlemen, the import of these stipulations is to underscore the fact that the judiciary and hence judges of our courts are accountable to the people as their servants and not as their masters in the quest to achieve and advance the vision of democratic government, government and the objective and tangible fruits of democracy in our land. Additionally, and more importantly, the judiciary has a bounding duty to hold all other powers, entities, and agencies of state accountable and ensure transparency in their actions or deeds. And in this respect, I felt very, very agonized when the Supreme Court in the 2020 election petition decided to shield the electoral commissioner from giving evidence. The Supreme Court in that trial was a constitutional court, not just any court. And the, uh, the electoral commission was the returning officer. She was accountable to the people of this country. And the Supreme Court ought to have allowed her to go into the witness box and account to the people of this country. They shielded her to the detriment of our country for today and maybe for tomorrow. And it is a very, very shameful situation. It doesn't show that our Supreme Court is prepared to hold our institutions accountable. If they cannot hold even the EC accountable, how will they hold the president accountable?